Welcome back. It's me again, Teacher Lef. And today, I'm going to discuss to you about performing a series of more than two operations on a whole number, applying the PEMDAS or the CHEMDAS. So guys, maybe you are thinking, what if sa isang expression ay pinagsama-sama ang plus o addition, minus or subtraction, times o multiplication, divided by o division, paano nga ba natin masisimplify ang isang expression? Imagine that without a standard order of operation, it will be difficult to know if you're getting the right answer to a mathematics test, lalo na kung ang binigay ni teacher sa isang expression na may iba't ibang operations. Or let us put that in a real-life situation. Nagpunta ka sa isang mall at napakarami ng iyong pinalili na may iba't ibang presyo. Paano mo malalaman kung magkano ang pinalili mo at magkano ang isusukin sa iyo? Let us find out how to perform order of operations. So let us know the acronym PEMDAS. P or G stands for parentheses or grouping symbols. It can be parentheses, brackets, or braces. We have M stands for multiplication. D stands for division. A stands for addition. And S stands for subtraction. Okay, so P as the first letter in order of the series of operation, we do first all the calculation in the parentheses and grouping symbols. Meaning, gagawin muna natin lahat ng mga operations inside the parentheses or grouping symbols before we go to multiplication and division. So even though that the multiplication comes first before division, it doesn't mean na lagi natin uunahin gawin ang multiplication kaysa kay division because we were work from left to right. Then, after that, you will do the addition and subtraction. So like multiplication and division, hindi ko mo na una uli si addition kaysa kay subtraction ay uunahin natin gawin ang addition because we will also work from left to right. Okay, let us try. Example number 1. 35 minus 9 plus 8 times 3 divided by 4. So dahil wala namang parentheses, we will do multiplication and division. Sa ating expression, meron tayong 8 times 3. So yun muna ang ating gagawin. So you will just copy 35 minus 9 plus 8 times 3 equals 24 divided by 4. So nawala na yung multiplication, ang sunod naman ay division. So, that will be 24 divided by 4. So, copy yung uli, 35 minus 9 plus 24 divided by 4 equals 6. Okay, so wala na multiplication at division. So, now we will do addition and subtraction. So, so nakikita ninyo na uuna ang subtraction. So, kailangan yun muna ang ating gagawin operation. 35 minus 9 equals 26 plus 6. And so, 26 plus 6 equals 32. Okay, so let us answer example number 2. 44, open parenthesis 9, divided by 3, close parenthesis, minus 81 plus 45. So, kung mapapansin ninyo sa ating expression, meron tayo parenthesis. So, yun ang una natin gagawin. So, kopyahin lang natin yung 44. And then, yung sagot natin sa 9 divided by 3, that is 3 minus 81 plus 45. 44, open parenthesis 3, close parenthesis, minus 81 plus 45 is just the same as 44 times 3 minus 81 plus 45. Next is multiplication or division. 
since wala naman division, so multiplication yung susunod natin gagawin. 44 times 3 equals 132. And then, kopyahin lang uli natin. Minus 81 plus 45. So, sa expression na 132 minus 81 plus 45, meron tayong dalawang operation, which is subtraction and addition. This time, we will do what comes first from left to right. Since nauna yung subtraction, subtraction yung una natin gagawin. 132 minus 81 is 51. And then, plus 45. So, to get the final answer, 51 plus 45 equals 96. Now, let us do example number 3. Open parentheses, 8 times 5 plus 15, close parentheses, divided by 5 minus 6. So, we will do first the operation within the parentheses. So, nakikita ninyo, inside the parentheses, we have multiplication and addition. So, we will do first yung multiplication. 8 times 5 equals 40. Just copy yung plus 15 divided by 5 minus 6. Okay, so napapansin nyo, meron pa rin tayong parentheses kasi hindi pa natin nagagawa yung addition. So, we will do the addition. 40 plus 15 equals, yes, 55. So, copy lang uli natin. Divided by 5 minus 6. So, mapapansin niyo wala na yung parenthesis. So, we only have 55 divided by 5 minus 6. So, division naman ang susunod natin kahit according sa ating tendas. So, 55 divided by 5 equals... Yes, 11. So, copy lang natin ulit yung minus 6. So, 11 minus 6 na lang ang nakitira. And so, 11 minus 6 equals 5. So, 5 is our final answer. Let us do example number 4. Open parenthesis. 10 divided by 2 times 5 close parenthesis times open parenthesis 14 plus 6 minus 4 close parenthesis plus 2. Okay. So, gawin muna natin kung ano yung nasa unang parenthesis. Kung mapapansin ninyo, sa unang parenthesis natin, meron tayong dalawang operation. Division and multiplication. So, again, hindi ko muna una ang multiplication kaysa sa division sa pendas ay yun ang ating itunahin. So, we will do ano operation ang nauna sa expression. Since nauna ang division, magdi-divide muna tayo bago tayo mag-multiply. So, 10 divided by 2 equals 5 and then 5 times 5 equals 25. So, ang sagot natin sa unang parenthesis is 25 times punta tayo ngayon sa pangalawang parenthesis. Sa pangalawa nating parenthesis, meron ulit tayong dalawang operation, plus and minus. So, gawin uli natin from left to right. Ang operation na nauna is addition. So, mag-a-add muna tayo bago tayo mag-susubtract. So, 14 plus 6 is 20, and then 20 minus 4 equals 16. So, ang sagot natin sa pangalawang parenthesis is 16. And then, bring down natin yung 2. Okay. So, now we have 25 times 16 plus 2. So, ano ang uunahin nating operation? Yes. Ang susunod nating operation ay multiplication na. So, 25 times 16 is... 400 and then plus 2. So, 400 plus 2 equals 402. So, the, our final answer is 402. Okay, so, now let us try example number 5. Open parenthesis, 15 divided by 3, close parenthesis, times open parenthesis, 48 divided by 6, plus 2, 
close parenthesis minus 50. So, uunahin uli natin ang mga operation inside the parenthesis. So, this time, unahin muna natin yung parenthesis na may 15 divided by 3. So, 15 divided by 3 equals 5. Yes, well, yung sabot natin sa unang parenthesis. Times, sa pangalawa nating parenthesis, we have two operations. That is division and addition. So, ano kaya ang una natin gagawin? Yes, we will do first 48 divided by 6 bago natin i-add sa 2. So, 48 divided by 6 is 8. And then, 8 plus 2 equals 10. And then, bring down na lang natin yung 50. So, we, we only have now 5 times 10 minus 50. So, anong sulit nating operation? Yes, magmumultiply muna tayo. 5 times 10 equals 50. And then, bring down natin yung 50. So, we have only 50 minus 50. What is 50 minus 50? Yes, the answer is 0. So, the final answer is 0. Okay, let us try example number 6. Open bracket, open parenthesis, 14 divided by 2, close parenthesis, times 9, close bracket, divided by 3, times 3. So, kung mapapansin ninyo, dalawa yung grouping symbols natin dito. We have the parentheses and the brackets. So, unahin muna natin yung operation inside the parentheses. Yes. So, 14 divided by 2 equals 7. And then, kopihin lang uli natin yung brackets. Tapos, yung sagot natin sa 14 divided by 2, which is 7. And then, times 9. Close bracket. Divided by 3. Times 3. Next ay kailangan mawala yung brackets. So, multiply naman natin. 7 times 9 equals, yes, 63. And then, kopyahin uli natin, divided by 3 times 3. So, 63 divided by 3 times 3, ano kaya ang susunod nating operation? Yes, mag-divide muna tayo. 63 divided by 3 equals 21 times 3. So, to get the final answer, we will multiply 21 times 3. And that is 63. Okay, class, remember, in performing the order of operations, do first all the calculations within the parentheses or grouping symbols. Second, do multiplication and division from left to right. And lastly, do the addition and subtraction from left to right. 